Hello there guys, what is going on? Son of Chelsea back here again for another edition of my team selector ahead of tomorrow's game against Crystal Palace in the Premier League. It's a chance for Chelsea to go into the international break with six Premier League wins in a row. Um, and I think this ties nicely into the positive news today, which was Frank Lampard being named Premier League Manager of the Month for October. Fully deserved. I think just as a sign of progression under Lampard and what's going on at the moment at Chelsea, I think um, you look at what he's done, you look at the way he's turned around form. Uh, we've won eight of our last 10 in all competitions and we are so far ahead of schedule of and where we are at the moment. You know, this win, if we were to beat Crystal Palace, we could be ahead of Manchester City before they uh, travel to uh, Anfield to play Liverpool on Sunday. And even if that's not the case, you know, being two points behind them at this period of the season, if you would have said that to a lot of people after the opening game of the season at Old Trafford, uh, not many would have believed you. But I think it's a sign of where the club is at the moment and we're going in the right direction. Um, other interesting things from the pre-match press conference was Mason Mount is in the squad. Um, apparently he's going to have probably a late fitness test, I assume, to either start or be on the bench. But I think there was concern when he came off against Ajax, but luckily he has recovered and let's hope he is uh, ready to start because he is so integral to what we do. Um, Antonio Rudiger, I remember in my team selector for Watford, I spoke about my concern over this injury. He went to see a consultant and he has had an operation um, on his injury and uh, it's going to keep him out for the rest of the month. And let's hope and pray that this will be finally after this where he can get back to fitness and get back in the team because we're going to need him. And um, let's just hope this is finally the thing that solves his injury but going into my team do think it's interesting I think there are some players that could break into the side and, and get their starts tomorrow um gonna go for a 4 3 3 as usual but as 4 3 3s are sometimes they look like 4 2 3 ones and I think the fitness of Mount I think very much comes into the the way that team could look when it sets up tomorrow uh, Kepering goal back four I feel like Reese James I, I feel like I, I'm edging towards saying that Reese James I think will start because I feel like the impact he had off the bench the other night, the the inspirational impact he had and scoring that equaliser was such a big moment for, for him personally and for the team. And I just think he offers us something on that on that side that we just don't really have from any other fullbacks. You know, Dave has done wonderfully well this season. I'm not discounting that. And of course, he scored the other night and probably should have had two goals as well, had the winner as well. But James, in terms of the modern fullback of what we're looking for at Chelsea and the style of football Frank wants to play, I think James just offers that overlap. He offers the chance to to get crosses into the box which Frank wants um, so I'd like to see him be given a start his first Premier League start at Chelsea uh, tomorrow in Zuma yes you can make some rotation maybe Christensen if he's ready to, to come back in but I think that will be the back two I just can't see uh, Frank changing that at the moment that's the back two he's settled with and at left back then it comes down to Emerson or Dave um, Emerson of course, didn't play in midweek and you'd expect him to be fit and ready for this. And I thought he did well at Watford and he really is the natural left back. The reason, the only the only reason I'm doubting him starting is because I struggle to see a team currently without Dave in it. I think Frank, with Dave being the captain and not having Jorginho because of suspension, I think Frank just likes having uh, him there as as in his team and, and the inspiration he he gives and the experience he gives in that back four and, and moving the team forward. You saw the passion and you saw what he gave to the team on Tuesday against Ajax. I think Frank loves having that. Um, Emerson, of course, is the natural left back there and it is going to be exciting to see James and Emerson, who a lot of us, I thought at the start of the season, would predict would be eventually the fullbacks. So you may see that for the first time, but I just would sway towards Dave, even of course I'm a big fan of Emerson, but I'm going to put Dave there because I just think captaincy wise and leadership wise, Frank loves him having him there. Uh, midfield three, I think N'Golo Kante will start. He's ready to uh, and ready to play. Uh, Mateo Kovacic could play in the Jorginho role, maybe be a little bit deeper with Kante more advanced. Um, Kovacic just natural start at the moment as he continues to impress. And uh, then it comes down to Mason Mount. If Mason Mount's fit, I think Mason Mount start in that midfield three. But it could be. Callum Hudson-Odoi comes in for Mount and then really it gets into the front three really because uh, for me it'd be Willian, uh, Tammy and Pulisic and one of Willian, Pulisic and uh, Callum could play in that central area and make it a 4-2-3-1. I think you could argue either Pulisic, probably Willian I think would, um, a natural to the shirt on a number on the back of his shirt there being number 10. I think he likes to drift naturally in the centre but I think you could see a 4-2-3-1 there of Kovacic and Kante a little bit deeper. Um, I would like to see Mason Mount because I think that even though there has been some criticism over his performances recently I think he just adds something just so extra to the team and the way Frank wants to play the pressing system Mount 
his energy, um, his persistence, his constant pressing. He just adds something. And look at the age of these players, man. I, I think some of the criticism, as I was talking about with Callum hudson Doy a few weeks ago, I just think is. I think it's overly critical. I think these players are going to have ups and downs. And you think of how well they've done already this season. They're way ahead of schedule. And I think that Mount is such a benefit to Frank Lampard's system. And even if he has a poor game, I think he comes back into form and he has an impact the next one. That's that's his age. That's what you expect from a player of his age at 20. Um, but that is my team, my team selector, head of the game tomorrow against Crystal Palace. I think it will be a tricky game. Palace are never an easy opposition, a home or away. So let me know your lineups in the comments below. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video if you did enjoy it, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell to never miss an upload follow me on twitter at son of chelsea and i'll see you again